Hi, this is Felix, and in this video, I will show you how to create world maps and customize them by changing the map projection, adding text on colors, and even making multiple world maps based on the same data using R on R Studio. You can get all the code of this video by joining my newsletter on felixanalytics.com. We are into R Studio now. The first thing you want to do is to install the necessary R packages to follow along with this tutorial. So to do that, you can click on the line 8 over here and then click on Run. And you want to do that for each line from 9 to 12. Now that you install the R packages, we want to load them into R. First, we will load the tidyverse R package that contains the packages dplyr, ggplot2 and stringer. Then in line 20, we will load the SF for simple features package to work with geographic data. Then the R natural earth package that allows to access world map data from natural earth, country code to get the ISO code from country names, and ggripple to extend the ggplot2 package for overlapping text labels. Now we will download the world data using the NE countries function from the R natural earth package with the scale argument as small because we don't need high detailed data and the return class argument as SF because we will use simple features with the SF library. So let's run this NE underscore countries function and assign the result in the world object. Now that we have our world data, we want to plot it using ggplot2. So to do so in line 33, we will assign the world object as a first argument in the ggplot function and add the gm underscore sf layer to this ggplot object. So now let's run this code. And as you can see in the plot panel over here, we have an empty, gray, dirty water map. Next step, of course, is to clean that and add new data. Now what we want to do is to change and choose the world map projection for our map. So what we will do is use this st underscore transform function from the sf package. And you can choose the projection by adding this proj equal and then the name of the word projection from the proj software project using the crs argument which stands for coordinate reference system, we can choose the word projection we want to use. So here, for example, I choose the word projection Robinson, but you can choose different ones to find which one are available. You can go on the proj.org website when you have a list of all the projections available. And now let's try to run this code for the Robinson projection. And as you can see, I also used Tim minimal to clean up a bit the word map. And as you can see over here, now we have our world map that is different with the Robinson projection. You can easily change the world projection by selecting any of them and run this code again. So here, for example, we have the azimutal equidistant world map projection. But once again, you can choose different ones uh, and see and use the one you want. In the list of all the world map projections, some of them will not work. One way to fix this problem is to add this code SF with datum equal NA function to remove the gratical. So it's the line from the latitude and longitude lines over here. And the bug comes from that. If you want a projection that is not working in this code over here, you can try to add this uh, line 53. So it's the case for the Wincon Trimple projection. So here, if I run this code, we will have the Wincon Trimple world map projection over here, but without the graticle. Now that our world map is ready, we want to add some data in it. So as an example, I will use a James Bond data set that I found online. And what we will do together is to prepare this data in a tidy, long format way so we can join it and plot it in the world map very easily. But of course, you can use your own data and that's the point of this video. So let's have a look at this James Bond data set. To do so, we will read the CSV and have a look at our data frame. As you can see in the R console of R Studio, we have different variables in our James Bond dataset. We don't need all of them, so we will select only the three variables that we need. So we will do that in the data wrangling part. So to do so, we will use the select function from dplyr 
and select the movie James Bond on depicted film locations. If we run this code, you will have only these three variables. Now what we notice is we have multiple country names in the same cell, in the same row. What we want is to have a single country name by observation or by row. So to do so, we will use a separate rows from the tidy package, which is also part of the tidyverse package. And we will use a separation with the comma space. Let's run this. And as you can see in the R console of RStudio, we have now a single observation or a single country name for each James Bond movie. Now looking at the data, I also saw that we have regions that should be recorded as country names. So England and Scotland that I will record as United Kingdom. And finally, I will add a new column using the dplyr mutate function where we will have a new column or variable called visited, which is true. So let's do all this data wrangling. And now if we look at our data, we have indeed this new visited variable. Finally, what we need is the ISO 3 code for each country name. We need that because we are not sure that the country names in our world objects that we prepared previously are the same names in our James Bond data set. And if we want to join this data, if the country names are different, the join will fail. So to be sure that our join will work, we will use ISO 3 code, which are three letters that uniquely identify each country. And to do so, we will use the country code function from the country code package. With as the first argument, our country names variable, and then we say we want the country names transform as ISO 3 code C. So let's run this code now and print our final data. And as you can notice over here, we have this new ISO 3 variable that have unique three letters code for each country. For example, Great Britain, it is GBR, Jamaica, GAM, etc. Now, as a final step, we want to join our world data data frame with our James Bond data. So first we will take our world data, select only the three variables that we want, including the ISO code for each country, and then left join our James Bond data by ISO code. And finally, keep only the visited countries by James Bond using the filter function from dplyr. So let's run this code and print our join data set. Okay, now our data set is ready. Time to do some visualizations. So we will uh, begin with our world data set, remove Antarctica by using the filter function from dplyr. On this set that we don't want Antarctica in our data set, we will use the Robinson transformation and then we will call ggplot and add it the geometry SF with dark gray as a coder. So let's run this first so you can see how it looks like. So that's just our empty data frame over here. Now we will add an, an additional geom layer with as data our country's visited data set. And we will fill the country that has been visited. Now, if you look at the plot view, you will see that all the countries that are visited equal true as filled with the default color, which is red over here. So what we want to do is to change this fill color in a selected color, for example, royal blue. So let's run that. Now, as you can see, the color changed. Now we want to use again the minimal temp that do extra cleaning. And we want to add some extra information. So this is a theme function from ggplot. So inside the theme function, you can add the plot.title argument and make the title bold. You can remove the text from the x axis and remove the legend position. And adding also the labs function over here, you can add a title, a subtitle, and remove the x and y values and add a caption. So let's run this. And voila, we have our first world map over here. And you can see all the countries that have been visited by James Bond in all the movies in the saga. But using the power of data wrangling from the tidyverse on ggplot2, it's very easy now to do some extra exploratory analysis and just to visualize specific things. So for example, let's say you want to know in which countries James Bond have been in the movie Casino Royale. So using the filter function from dplyr, you can keep only the movie that I equal to Casino Royale and we'll assign that to this new data set. And now we're using the same code, we can have a view of that. So for example, if I take on this part, you can see over here that there are 
few countries because these countries are only the one that James Bond visited in the movie Casino Royale. What would be nice now is to know which of these countries are. So to do that, you can use ggripple, which have a gm label ripple function that allows to avoid the overlapping of the labels of the text. So here you can use this function again with the same uh, data set we, that we prepared. Well, let's see how it looks like. Here you see uh, again the same countries, but this time the country names for each country. Now, again, we will change the color, add the, some timing information, and change the subtitle over here. So let's run all of this. And voila, we have our new world map, but just for Casino Royale movie, with, as a bonus, the country names. And note that you can do that for Casino Royale, but you can do that for any movie present in this uh, data set. Now, let's say you want to visualize all the country that uh, James Bond has visited for each country, but for a specific actor. So, for example, all the movies in which Daniel Craig played are called in this data set. So we will do that, but this time using the filter function from Dplyr, we will write Bond equal Daniel Craig. So we will have only the movies in which Bond equal Daniel Craig. Now we will use again the same code, but we will add this facet wrap function over here. It means that we will have a different world map or different uh, ggplot visualization by different movie. And we will reuse the same code on changing the subtitle again. So let's see how it looks like. And here you can see that in our data set we have in which Daniel Craig has played. And in each of these, we will have the countries in blue that James Bond has visited according to our data set. And now as a last world map visualization, we will look at each country visited by each actor for James Bond. So we can do that very easily. We will just use this facet brush again, but to see all the countries visited by each James Bond actor. I'm changing again the subtitle. So let's run this code. And here it is. We can see the six actors that played James Bond and in their movies in which countries James Bond have been. So as you can see, plotting world maps with ggplot2, with SF, and with the tidyverse to do raw data wrangling is very easy. It's very customizable. You can do a lot of world map data explorations using R. And that's all for this tutorial. In a coming video, I will show you how to map continuous on categorical variables at a country level. If you have any question, just leave a comment below and thank you for watching. Bye.